right let's add some work experiences so in here let me go ahead and add a comment and i'm going to say work and then experience and what we're going to do is the following so we want to add a heading so document dot dot and then add heading and here will be work and then x experience and then we're going to add a paragraph so document dot and then add paragraph and in here this paragraph will be a little bit different so what we want to do is store this paragraph into a variable called p for paragraph and inside add nothing and what we're going to do is to take few things from the input we're going to take the company and then input, enter and then company and then space. We want the start underscore and then date equals to input. And then let's say from and then date. And let's change this to from date as well. From date and not data date. And then here to and then underscore date equals to input and then to and then date and then add a space there as well here and now what we're going to do is the following we're going to use this paragraph in here to add a paragraph so we're going to say p dot and then add run so this is how you add text to existing paragraphs and then here what we want to do is to say company and then plus and then add an empty space and you'll see this in a second and then say dot and then bold so we want this to be in bold equals to true so you've learned about booleans and next what we want to do is to say p dot and then add underscore run and here what we want to add is the from and then date plus and then single quotes and add a dash here and then plus and then two underscore date and finally what we want is to say plus and then here say backslash and then n so this will give us a new line and then at the end we want to say dot and then italic equals true and then true and you'll see this in a second so there we go finally we can capture the experience description so x experience and then underscore details equals two and then input and inside what we're going to do is on a new line here i'm going to say describe your experience and then at and then plus and we have the company and finally what we need to do is to say p dot and then add and then run and we want to have the experience and then details and then run and let's fill this information once more so nelson 000 and then hello at and then amigos code.com and then i love python so tell me about yourself i love python enter and then enter company so here let's say amigos and then code and then from date let's say that this is from like 2000 to 2020 enter and then here describe your experience at amigos code teaching people how to code enter and there we go so now let's open up the CV and that's the previous one. Let me close that and check this out. 
So you can see that now we have in here. So we have our picture. This is um, name, phone number, email, about, and then work experience. So here, this is what we've done. We've got the heading, work experience, and then this is the company, Amigos Code, and then 2000 to 2020, and then this is the, the this is the actual description. So you can see that the CV is actually taking shape now. And one thing is, as you are doing this together with me, if you feel like this title has to be different for you, by no means you are free to change because after all, this is your project. So let me just go back once more and explain what we've done. So I just want to show you here. So in here, we've got the work experience, we have the paragraph, and then we capture company from date and to date. And then here, you see that we have company plus and then a space dot bold. This is because of this part right here, right? So this is so if I make this smaller, and just put it here. So this is the company amigos code here, right in bold, and then space. But on the same line, we want to add from date, and then to date, and you can see here from date, and then to date, and you can see the dash there. So this is the dash, and you can see the dash on the CV, right? And then you can see that we have this backslash n. So this backslash n gives us a new line where we put teaching people how to code, which is this part right here. So experience details, and then we say p dot add run, and this is why we have it on a new line. So if you have questions on any of this, please do let me know. Otherwise, next, let's learn how to keep on adding more experiences to your CV.